Hey everyone, welcome back to the episode of the React Intermediate Series. So we corrected the problem on the server side. Um, and uh, so what we're gonna be doing in the, is in this episode right here, uh, we're gonna complete our error handling process. So basically we're gonna send uh, you know, an email and an invalid password, and then basically we're gonna get a response from the server, which is gonna be correct now. And then basically I'm gonna show you guys how to show the actual alert bar um, you know, on the top of the page uh, as the, the way it's supposed to be. Cool, so now we're back in our um, React Intermediate. And basically what we're gonna be doing is in this episode, I'm going to um, put this code back the way it should be, which is if callback error, make the, uh, you know, invoke the function. So over here, um, we're gonna put all this back and basically everything should kind of just work. Uh, so I, just, I don't think we need the, this guy anymore. So we're extra extracting the message from our auth and here on error, we're just writing a function that will basically set the message to the body and the type. And then that's what's gonna get passed into our alert component over here. And then everything should be uh, just fine. So I'm gonna head over into the code over here and do a reload real quick. And I'm gonna type in zach at codemy.net with the wrong password and click sign in. And you can see here, uh, everything is now working. It's showing the error message just fine. So if I actually click this button now, we're gonna see a bunch of error. That's because we, are, we don't actually have an on dismiss um, function. We need, so we need to modify our alert components slightly. Um, and so uh, if I head over into the components directory over here and take a look at the alert, uh, it doesn't know what to do over here. Um, so, you know, we can even just really simply, if we wanna remove that error, um, so let's let's remove that error and then see what happens. So if I'm gonna do a const on dismiss this dot props. So on dismiss would be a callback function that we could pass in and have it call like, oh, you on dismiss do something like you know whatever. Like we can just do whatever we want. But if we don't want to do anything, um, you know, we can just do something like this. So if on dismiss on dismiss. And that's pretty much it. So uh, let's that will fix the error that we were seeing. And uh, so let's see what happens now. So if I do that, and then I type in the wrong password, we're gonna see the error. If I click on that, it doesn't go away. So we need to figure out how we make this go away uh, as well. So um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm gonna show you guys how to do just that in this episode. Uh, so let's try out the success just to make sure everything's working. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Click sign in, and we're good to go. So it's redirected to our landing page here. So uh, I'm gonna head over into here and do the error again. And I'm gonna show you guys how to basically um, handle making the alert box go away when we click on it over here. So th there is a link over here. Uh, on click this dot dismiss, uh, and essentially. What we need to do is, you know, because right here we are doing a check on the message and the message is, uh, you know, the it's being passed in with the props over here. So essentially uh, what we need to do is, uh, you know, we need to, um, we need to do a few things in order to basically, if we null out the message over here, uh, we will be basically good to go. Um, so uh, what we can do is uh, we can do a component will receive props. Um, and I, I believe the thing is next props. Actually, to keep it simple, we don't actually have to do any of that stuff because we're already handling on dismiss. So all we have to do is on dismiss um, is we need to go into our sign in page over here. And uh, over here in our auth, in our alert here, we do on dismiss and we do a function. And the function, all it's going to do is, so, so we need to do a uh, const. So I'm gonna write a new function. I think that's probably cleaner. So uh, clear auth message. And basically here, this is gonna be auth dot set message null. We can actually even just do a function right there. I mean, you know, we can do it so many ways. So const auth 
equals this dot props and then here it's going to be just auth like that and in here now we can access the auth so auth dot set message null and that's pretty much it so we already have an on dismiss we're going to use the on dismiss call uh, props and uh, so now basically what's going to happen is when we click on that link over here uh, on the auth link uh, whoops so if I go to the components over here yeah so we click on the this dismiss uh, it will pretty much um, you know called on dismiss which we pass in from our component uh, over here so which will set the message to null and then everything will work just fine so I'm gonna head back over into the code over here and then I'm gonna do a Zach at codemy.net and I'm typing the wrong password sign in shows the error click goes away Perfect. So now if I log in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, click sign in, we're signed in. So that pretty much wraps it up in terms of error handling, um, you know, between signing in and, you know, with the correct e uh, email and the wrong password and then the, the correct email and the, sorry, the, the correct pa email, uh, sorry, the correct credentials. We go to the, uh, the, the, the dashboard, the landing page, we get redirected and if we put in the wrong password, we get shown uh, an error message and we can click to dismiss the error message if we wanted to uh, and all is good with the world so that's that pretty much wraps up uh, this episode all right so that wraps up this episode uh, in this episode right here we um, you know we put back the code that we did from the previous react intermediate series and uh, what we did was uh, we also corrected uh, we, we actually pass in an on dismiss function um, and the on dismiss function just basically sets the message of the auth class to null and then that basically re automatically removed because our alert component um, you know doesn't render anything when it detects that the message is null uh, so that pretty much wraps up the whole error handling. Uh, after this, we're going to move on to, um, you know, moving some of the parts, other parts of our invoicing app from the uh, UI from the old React Intermediate pro uh, React Foundation project over to the new React Intermediate uh, with a new stat, new coding standard, new structure, and everything. And everything is in one code base in the Rails API uh, project. So it's like a one, mo uh, you know, one repo rather than two repos where the front end is separate from the back end. Uh, so if you're watching this video on YouTube, uh, become a member on our site, check out our site. We have code examples, we have um, you know, a playlist where you can easily check out you know, the different parts uh, and we're continuously improving our website uh, and you know, the performance. We just upgraded our CDN um, last week. So check that out, become a member. And uh, with that, I want to wrap up this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one.